what is up everybody welcome back and in this video as you guys can see i'm actually going to be reviewing something today so um this is the this is my new bow it is a um not sure if you guys can see that it is a diamond infinite edge pro so i've already taken it to a competition about a week ago it performed pretty good um, I have a Trophy Ridge sight, it's a single pin sight, and then I have a 8 inch stabilizer with several ounces of weight, um, and then that's pretty much it for what I would have actually put onto this bow, but it does have, so my draw weight is set to, I think, 33 pounds, and then my draw length is close to 25. So, that's actually my hunting arrow. Um, it is a victory. Uh, see if you guys can, I don't know. I really don't know what these are called, but they're victory arrows. They're 600 spine, and they work pretty good for... Okay, nice. So, this is my hunting arrow. Okay, um, yeah, this is my hunting arrow. It has a light knock on it. The rest of the, my arrows that I have that are just like this, they um, they do not have lighted knocks because those are meant for competition, and some competitions don't let you have lighted knocks. So I have to, I don't put lighted knocks on all my arrows. I have one with a lighted knock, and that's it. So, yeah, more than likely, you guys will see some hunting videos coming up here in the fall. Um, yeah, be watching out for those, and then we may even have a couple of competitions uh, that are going to be coming up. So, um, that's basically the entire rundown of my bow. Now let's actually see how it feels. So, if you pull it back, um, that's pretty nice. It's not. It's. I. Oh. 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 Yeah. I forgot to mention one thing. I did put a new peep sight in it, so obviously, so it doesn't have that stock peep sight with the tubing. That just gets really annoying when the tubing pops out, and then you have to get either take it to a bow shop to get your peep sight realigned, or you just have to stick the tubing back on like the little tube on the peep sight, and then it's a really big hassle. So I prefer running no tubing on my peep sight. Um, I believe I got a new D loop. I'm not exactly sure, but actually, really quick, I'm going to go get my bowstring wax. I can see my bowstring needs to be, it needs a new coat of wax on it, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So, let me go get that, and I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. I have my tube of bowstring wax right here. We're actually going to be using this, so... The instructions are, um, so, apparently I have to do this, I really don't get why, but, yeah, okay, you have to do something like that, and then open it up, push it from the bottom, you have to push it, you have to put, push the wax out, and then you just coat it pretty heavily on your bow. So, that's what I'm about to do here. So, we're just going to run it along the string, just like this. Yeah, this is actually working out pretty well. I'm surprised how well it's actually working. Uh, but, yeah, so. Here we go. Probably a little too much in that area, but it'll be alright. Um... There we go. Okay, so now, what you're going to do, now that you have all the wax on your bowstring, um, you just want to rub it into the string. So, you just take your hands and just rub it, and just rub all the wax into the actual string. Your string will be sticky because it's wax, but you put wax on it. But, other than that, 
There's no real side effects. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but, so while we're sitting here doing the whole bowstring thing, um, yeah, um, might as well, yeah, I don't know. Okay, bowstring, it looks pretty much done. It looks, I'm gonna try to go a little bit faster now, just so I, I mean, don't have to sit here and watch me for like five hours rubbing wax into my bowstring. Um, here we go. Um, that's about it. Um, as for updates, but. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Right around that D loop is almost done. Also, when you're cleaning off your hands from using bowstring wax, make sure to use dish soap this dish soap and not hand soap because that dish soap is actually meant to clean off like grease and stuff. So it's a lot more effective than hand soap is, so make sure you do that instead of hand soap. So, um, actually what bowstring wax is supposed to do, is supposed to make your strings not fraily and stuff, which it'll, it'll uh, extend the life of your bowstring if you do that. Cause I think we all pretty much know what happens if you get a really frail string and you and you continue to shoot it. It never really ends up good because obviously it goes, yeah, it does that. So, um, here we go. So, I'm, I'm actually going to go around the, to the back of the camera and show you guys the bowstring. So, um, here we go. As you guys can see, we have my string. It still has a little bit of wax on it, but that's all right. Um, so yeah, it's definitely looking quite a bit better, I would say. But um, yeah, so also guys, make sure you comment down below what, what kind of videos you want to see me make, whether that's hunting videos, gaming videos, or just any general outdoor video, I'll be happy to make it, just, um, yeah, just go down in the comments and comment whatever you want me to do, and I'll try to get that out for you guys, so, um, yeah, so, uh, I may do, yeah, I may do a couple competitions here soon. Um, competitions being 3D shoots, maybe even an indoor shoot. I'm not quite sure about the indoor shoot yet. I'm going to be looking for a couple more uh, 3D shoots. I think we are, I think I am going to a 3D shoot either this month or the month after that. The month after this. I'm not exactly sure. But, also, if you guys know of any kind of, like, bow attachment that I could get for my bow, and it would, like, drastically, it pretty, it would change, if it would change my bow, like, a lot, it would make it a lot better, make sure to tell me down in the comments. Like, right now, I'm using a, I think it's a hostile vest, uh, bow, uh, arrow rest. I think that's what it is. It's not the absolute greatest thing but it definitely does work it works for right now i am gonna try to upgrade my rest pretty soon I'm trying to i'm thinking about maybe getting a qad rest or something like that but right for right now my bow setup works pretty good um i think i am gonna be doing some more archery videos though like you know hunting like rabbit hunting squirrel hunting anything like that, 
I can I can try to make. But deer hunting, that's gonna have to wait till the fall because obviously I do not want to go to jail for shooting a deer out of season. But hey, rabbit hunting and squirrel hunting all year long. Maybe even coyote hunting if I can successfully get my call to work. But um that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Make sure you leave a like and then go down there, hit the big red button. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Also, make sure to comment down below, please. It helps out the channel a lot. And it helps people, um, people like you, to see my video. Like, how commenting works is the more people I get to comment on my videos, it actually, um, it helps more people see to see the videos and that helps out a ton so if you guys could please make sure to go down in the comments and do that and yeah i'll see you in the next one